Yo, what up guys, Coach Dan here. Let's talk about three muscle groups that will build you in illusion with your physique. Now, this is three out of 17 muscle groups that I'll be teaching in my new course that I'll be launching soon. This is gonna be the best course you've ever seen. You've never seen anything like it. You're gonna love it. Everyone's gonna love it. It's so well-rounded. It has everything you want from nutrition to you know how to build a solid foundation, how to build symmetry, programming that you can follow for an entire year, and freaking more. It's gonna be so much more in the course that I'll be launching soon. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be the best thing you've ever seen in the market. No one is else, no one else is releasing something like this, so I'll be the first one to be released, and I'm super pumped to share that with you. But let's talk about three muscle groups that will build you an illusion with your physique. Now, what is an illusion? Now let's talk about that. The whole point of the illusion is to build width with your body. Great examples of people who have built really you know, good width, width with their body would be like Steve Reeves. Very wide physique. He talks about in his book, you know, Building the Class Physique, train to be wide, all right? So understand that. We're trained to look wide, to look bigger. This Again, this adds width. You know, adding width makes us look bigger. And what's the most obvious example of the illusion that everybody knows? It's so cliche and I really, it's really annoying to like talk about, which is the V-taper. Everybody wants a V taper, like wow, you know, just you know, build a V taper. It'll make your waist look smaller. While that is true, you only scratch the potential of your physique of making it look bigger by just training those two body parts and just worrying about that. Because again, there's 17 muscle groups. Two of them include the shoulders and the the uh, the weight. You know, you can also include the waist in there as well and the back. That's three. That's it. That's that's scratching the the surface. There's 17, and I'll be sharing three more with you that not not including the shoulders, back, and the um, waistline. So these are all three of the muscle groups. But you know, the idea is to achieve an extreme physique, like Steve Reeves. So let's dive right into it. Now, three muscle groups. The first one has to be the upper chest, and you know, the chest in general. Actually, if I bet me better say, the chest in general. We want to make it wider. So how do we do that? Now, the upper region of the chest is a difficult region to build, you know, as a natural, and I think, you know, definitely as a natural for sure, but, you know, in general, because there's not a lot of meat going on around there. Now, this can be worked through any type of incline work, incline double press, you know, a guillotine, a guillotine press or AKA neck press, which is totally fine. You know, I know it's going to cause like, I don't know if it's, I can't remember if it's internal or external rotation, but this, you can only get injured from that type of exercise if you have bad shoulder mobility because there's lots of people who don't have a problem doing behind the neck press, you know, behind the neck pull down or a guillotine press because they have great shoulder mobility. If you don't have good shoulder mobility, this exercise is probably going to get you injured and it's probably going to hurt. But any type of incline work, incline double fly, any type incline cable fly will all work just fine for you. Also, another region, region of the chest you want to build, and this is something like someone brought up to me the other day. He brought up a really weird name for it. He was like telling me, yo, you got to work out the um, scoop your chest and I was like what are you talking about scooping my chest I was like dude what are you talking about and I was like oh you mean the correct term which is the outer pectoral or the underlying pec line he's like oh uh, yeah I just called it scoop of the chest and I was like dude like stop bro like you don't even know what you're talking about but it's called the underlying pec line or aka you know the uh, outer pectoral you know sort of that's pretty much coined by Vince Duran and Arnold Schwarzenegger for sure but how you work that, again, we're trying to add width. We're trying to add width here and down here. The adding width to the outer pectoral can be done through, I highly recommend V-bar dips. Vince Drona highly recommends this for building the outer pectoral. Larry Scott only did two exercises for his chest, and this was a neck press and a V-bar dip. That's, that's pretty much said were his staples. Again, Larry, this is a prime example of you know Vince Drona and his teachings just because Vince John is the solid go-to guy to talk about, you know, the illusion, but, you know, may he rest in peace because he's no longer with us. So I, you know, I'm trying to carry on the torch, but Larry Scott did two of the exercises I'm, I already talked about. He worked the upper region of the chest and worked the outer pectoral, V-bar dips and guillotine press. So I hope this is all making sense because all the factors are sort of like lining up. But now let's talk about the triceps. Now the triceps, we're trying to make them look wide. You know, good examples of someone who's definitely achieved you know, with, you know, good width in their triceps would most likely be like a Bill Pearl or like a Larry Scott because their arms look insanely jacked. And they had both had really, really good arms. Now, two parts of the triceps you want to work include the lateral head. The lateral head is the one that Vince Drano highly recommends you work. It's, he says it's the most beautiful part of the tricep, the most prominent muscle of the tricep. You really want to well develop that area. And that can be done through any type of press down. This can be a VY press down, a row press down, a WR press down. Um, any type of press down in general is probably going to work. 
the other part of the tricep you want to work, which is the you call it the low tricep, you know, or the sweep of the tricep, whatever you want to call it. This can be done through any type of overhead extension. I think anything over extension that comes this way probably works, you know, there fairly well because this is an exercise that Vince, that Larry Scott picked up from Vince, and Larry Scott had the best arms in you know history. And who was he trained by? Geronda. So you know, you can't you can't knock that advice. So I think that overhead cable extension works very very well. Now the last muscle group I want to talk about is the quads. We're trying to add width to the quads. Now, a lot of people always compliment me, compliment me on my quads, not just because of the big, because my lower thigh matches the other part of my thigh, which is a difficult, difficult look to achieve with your physique because not everybody has knowledge of it or like they don't know how to develop it in, in general. And again, it is a difficult muscle, muscle group to bring out, so I'm gonna teach you exactly how to develop that. Now, good examples of people who have the really well-developed lower thigh would be like, Larry Scott, Steve Reese for sure, Tom Platts for sure as well. All these guys have great lower thigh development. It's like both sides of your thigh are literally like almost the same size. They're not like this, they're like this. And it makes your thigh look wide. And that's the whole point. Again, we're trying to create X frame width in your physique. Now this can be done through, I highly recommend any type of hack squat you can do. I think sometimes the stance can even um, help a little bit as well you know, in, out, however you want to do it. I, Vince Gerardo recommends a, you know, I don't want to call this a duck stance, but the other thing you want to do is, you know, you could also do the, the hack squat. There is, I, I highly recommend doing a barbell hack squat. That one's really, really fun. You can also do a close grip um, stance squat that also helps as well. That's something Larry Scott um, does in his Loaded Guns book. And yeah, guys, that is three muscle groups that will build you in illusion with your physique. So one last thing I want to say before I end the video, you know, I hope it was valuable, valuable to you. One last thing I want to say is that my ebook Silver Air Secrets is going to be going, you know, out of sale forever just because I feel like it's not serving its purpose to its highest highest potential, and I want to provide people with something that is going to serve them at a really really you know high high level. And I think that you know the book isn't really doing that well. Like no, it's doing well in sales for sure, but I mean that in terms of really helping people because I really want to help people and transform their physiques. I want to create more, you know, classic physiques, but you know, the silver sequence is going to be going out forever just because, you know, I have something way better that's coming out, but just a heads up because this course will be more of an investment for sure. But if you want to pick up something real quick, something not that bad on the wallet, it's only 40 bucks, click the link in the description. You can pick it up, you know, before it's gone forever because I will not be selling it for sure because it's not serving people at a high level. This course will be doing so much better. It's better. It's going to be the best thing you've ever seen. You're gonna love it, everyone's gonna love it. It's gonna be a complete game ch changer in the industry for sure. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was valuable to you. With that being said, subscribe for more, more videos like this. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, I'm Old School Dan, I'm gone.